Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. These hands, these hands will build something so beautiful, so bold, the most innovative and groundbreaking design the world has ever known. These hands will build the future. Cybertruck. Yes. Look at it. <laughs> now, some people watch pornography. Some people do drugs. Some people rock climb and skydive. Do you know what makes Uncle Rich happy? Listening to Tesla fanboys cry in the comment section of videos and Facebook posts. <laughs> it excites me to no end. Doug DeMuro released a video on the Cybertruck. He made some comparisons that people didn't like. And what do the fanboys do? They congregate and cry in a room together. <laughs> I usually like Doug, but his last video shows how out of touch he is with reality. <laughs> the things he said just weren't true. <laughs> it's your boy, Uncle Rich, and no one has heard my opinion on the Cybertruck yet, and no one has asked for it either. But I'm going to give it to you. Yes, sir, you're going to get it. You gonna get it, sir. This is my unscripted and uncut and uncensored explicit review. If you're looking for an opinion that you agree with and you don't like swear words, like most Tesla fanboys, go elsewhere, okay? There's plenty of Tesla channels that will make you feel warm and fuzzy inside. Go into Google. You could type in why I love my Tesla and after about an hour of reading, it'll make your pee-pee nice and happy, okay? Or you can stay and prepare to get your feelings hurt. There's adult language. There's satire. There's sarcasm, and I know a lot of you don't understand that, so hide your wife, hide your kids. In this rant, I will make approximately three half-assed points, and I will continue to speak until I almost get to the fourth half-assed point, and I will lose interest shortly thereafter. Now, I didn't watch the unveiling of the Cybertruck live, all right? It was 11 p.m. on the East Coast. I didn't have that kind of time, but my buddy Steven sent me a text like, yo, this is Cybertruck, and I was like, dude, stop playing. He's like, boy... That's it. I was like, no freaking way. It had to be a lie. Then I Google searched it, and sure enough, that was it. I said to myself, damn. Elon was not playing when he said it was going to be reminiscent of Blade Runner. Not at all. And legit, everyone is saying this, okay? Everyone's saying this. Everyone's saying how ugly the truck is. But let me tell you something, what the Cybertruck is, okay? The Cybertruck is like that thick girl at work, right? And you're not into thick girls, OK, but you start talking to her and you're like, whatever, she's still thick. It's not my thing. Then y'all go out on a date and you see her put down some serious fried chicken. And you're like, oh, damn, girl, you like fried chicken, too. All right. Then you guys start hanging out and you're like, damn, old girl, no, you all right. Then you start a family. Then she pops out like five of your kids and she's bigger now. OK, but that's what you wanted. That's the cyber truck. And that last example went so far out of bounds, I don't even know how to connect the two back together. But the Cybertruck grows on you to the point where you're like, damn, that's ugly. Then you're like, surprise, bitch, I'm buying one. Now, the reason why I gave it a couple weeks to make a video is because one, I'm lazy, and two, it took a while to settle in. But my, my initial thing is that Tesla had to make it look the way it looks now. They had to. Tesla's competition is clearly the Ford F-150, and guess what? If they made a truck that looked exactly like the Ford F-150, why would anyone buy one? They had to set themselves apart. I get it. For example, let's say you're trying to break into a new market. Make a name for yourself, all right? Let's just say you just started a new school, and it's time for show and tell. And you have to show them something. What are you going to show them to make a name for yourself? Make a long-lasting impression. Your favorite movie? Huh? Flight of the Navigator? Maybe the Goonies? No! You're going to show them your parents' sex tape, and you're going to say, this is how I was made. Any questions? Make a name for yourself. And that's exactly what they did. So I'm going to do a step-by-step -step rundown of the event. But before I do, let's talk about this episode sponsor, Squarespace. Now, I wanted to do a passion project for the Cybertruck, so I partnered up with Squarespace to make a fanboy web page. They are an all-in-one platform that builds a professional website, online store, or a portfolio of Elon's life work. It's also easy to claim a domain like I love my cyber truck even though it's three years away.com and create a custom site that matches your style and brings your idea to life. I mean, look at it. Look at these templates. 
Squarespace has everything you need to create a beautiful and modern website. Just start with the design template and drag and drop tools to make it your own. I would show you mine, but I got an angry call from Tesla. And now if you type in ilovecybertrucks.com or cybertruckmeetupsafterdark.com, it mysteriously can't find the webpage. Head to squarespace.com slash richrebuilds to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using the code richrebuilds. All right, let's do a live rundown of the event. So he hit it with the hammer. Okay, no damage, all right. No one asked for this, but this is cool. It was very nice of you. Also, Elon asking what else we can do is adorable because he didn't rehearse this. And Elon doesn't have to rehearse anything because he can literally show you a photo of the truck, pull his pants down, and say buy it, and he knows people will. See, it's funny. This truck is such a bold design that here's what happened. The Rivian is a very good-looking vehicle, no doubt about that. But this cyber truck has already made it look outdated. This truck would literally fit into any sci-fi movie. Remember Total Recall? Terminator? Alien? Sci-fi movies and other producers are going to be dying to have this thing in a production. Okay, let's shoot it, he says. Then he realized no one has a gun. All right, and now Elon's going to show us what happens when a rock hits all of the cars he's made so far. <laughs> and of course, my favorite part's when Elon wants Franz to throw the ball at the truck. It breaks, all right? Now let's try the back glass to see if there's a different result. Hey, you know what? Same result. That's weird. See, now you think to yourself, oh my gosh, presentation is over. No one's going to buy this thing. But this little quirk just got him another 5,000 reservations. People just kept sharing it, retweeting it, and it just doesn't matter. He's Elon Musk. He can sell a jar of his own sperm for $50,000. Now, when I heard it was 18 minutes long, I was like, sheesh, that's short. But once you cut out the nerd laughter and awkward silence, it's only about five minutes long. <laughs> Speaking of five minutes long, that's how long I spent detailing my Z06 today using Shine Armor. Yep, when I'm rolling through my hood and Franz throws metal balls at my car, the windows will be smashed, but my whip will stay looking fresh. Check out the link below to buy some Shine Armor products. Oh wait, we also made an ATV? See, I like this part because it just shows how quirky he is. No, it's not, oh, by the way, we made an ATV. It's like, bruh, you made an ATV. You made an electric ATV. You should have rode in on the ATV. That's the opener. The truck is the big event, but don't belittle the ATV, all right? It's like saying, oh, by the way, I have another family. You know, I like Elon, all right? I like him a lot. He's brilliant. Brilliant. And I get he's an engineer. He's quirky. But can we please have someone else demonstrate this vehicle, please? <laughs> I get it. No, no, no. I get it. Everyone wants Big Daddy Elon Musk because he's the face of the company. But if it was anyone else, the fanboys, they'd have no one to geek out to. All right. Let's make sure the F-150 isn't in four-wheel drive. Make sure it's rear-wheel only. <laughs> Either way, I know for a fact that this cyber truck could pull this shit out of F-150 regardless because, A, it weighs, it weighs a million pounds. That's a different controversy in itself. Okay? Because, yes, it's heavy. It has torque at zero RPM. So in my opinion, the F-150 is going to get dragged anyways. But you know what pissed me off? I had the biggest erection ever. The biggest. When I heard that Ford wanted a rematch with the Cybertruck, I was like, hell yeah, brother. Competition. Then Ford backed down. And they're like, nah, just kidding. Ford, you back down, Ford? Henry Ford is legit rolling in his grave right now. Like, damn, my company's a bitch now? Now, I do like the fact that you can tap into the air suspension as an air compressor. That's badass. 220 volt hookup in the rear, that's badass. 16 inches of travel, that's badass. If you throw some serious tires on there, like all the renderings on the internet, this thing's gonna look kinda cool. I even saw a few six by six renderings of it, which actually makes it look like a tank. The only thing is that it has a, an exoskeleton, right? So what's the goal for repairing it? So Franz hit it with a sledge hammer. But to be fair, does anyone know how much Franz could bench press? Like how strong he is? I mean, he's slim, all right? But he's no Ben Sullins. Ben Sullins here looking like an animal boy. <laughs> ben Sullins looking hench. Ben Sullins should have hit it with that sledgehammer. Anyway, a car like the DeLorean. How do you fix a DeLorean? You don't. You throw it away. You get into an accident with the Model X. It's going to take you about 322 days to get it fixed. How long will a Cybertruck take? It has to go to a place that specializes in this stuff. They gotta be trained. They gotta be certified. If you get a nail in your Model 3 right now, it's gonna cost you $72,000. If you get an accident in the Model 3, you'll never see it again. They just take it away. Same thing with the Cybertruck. If you get into an accident, Tesla Roadside will call you and say, hey, we see your airbags deployed. We're actually sending someone out to kill you right now. <laughs> 
But no, really, it's going to be interesting. Like, they're pushing the limits on design. I get that. But from a repair standpoint, that's going to be interesting. So after that quote-unquote presentation, one thing is very clear. There is no other manufacturer, GM, Ford, Dodge, none of them could pull that off because they don't have a cult following that is the cult of Tesla. Yeah, there's Dodge fanboys. Yeah, there's Chevy boys. But the Tesla fanboys are a different breed. GM would have been out of business if they pulled that at a presentation. But I respect it. Elon is putting in that work. On stage, he messed up his truck and was like, uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. And all the nerds like, ha yeah, Elon, <laughs> it happens. I'm going to buy four now. <laughs> These fanboys don't even care, man. You know, how do you think Uncle Elon feels right now? He feels fine. A lot of fanboys are like, stop, stop. He's so brave. Imagine him getting up on stage in front of a thousand people. Back up for a second. He's in his comfort zone. He has his people. That is his squad. That is his squadron. Okay? And guess what? The numbers don't lie. Over 200,000 reservations. Granted, I know. Only 100 bucks, but it shows interest. People are willing to put money down on this thing. And here is why people are interested in it. One, it looks different. Okay? Borderline exotic because there's nothing else like it on the road. Two, self-driving. Three, it's electric. And the specs are amazing. Zero to 60 time, the tow capacity. It can tow 14,000 pounds for probably five minutes. But it's still great. However, it looks like a car designed in the 80s for people trying to figure out what cars in the year 2020 would look like. It's not a great-looking truck. But again, you can't deny those specs. Elon himself told me, Rich, hey, guess what? This thing... Literally looks like a piece of shit. It looks like a preterm Honda Ridgeline. And he told me, look, dude, I'm Elon Musk. I could sell anything. Watch this. And he did it. 200,000 people, as of this taping, paid him $100. He literally drew something up with a ruler, all right? Something my son drew. And he's selling people the idea of buying it for 100 bucks a pop, all right? The idea. There's no actual product yet. And these knuckleheads in the Facebook groups are posting screenshots of the reservations, like, hey, <laughs> I just spent $100 on this. I'm like, whoa, slow down there, brother. Don't flex too hard now. <laughs> Those legit drive me crazy. Everyone posting screenshots of reservation. Buddy, okay, I get it. You spent 100 bones. Now what? You need to flex harder than that, all right? No one cares, but people love attention. It shows that they're interested in what the latest and greatest thing is, okay? You're not gonna find something or anything this outlandish for that price point. You're just not gonna do it, okay? A lot of people that are buying these things are doing it for the attention because you're gonna stick out like a turd in a punch bowl. And it's edgy, and it's cool, and you're buying it like, okay, you wanna prove a point? Like, yeah, I was bullied in school, and I want attention now, and I want people to look at me, and I want people to know that I'm driving this thing. You're doing it because you wanna generate hype, and you want to get attention. I don't blame you for that. I own a Humvee, and it looks like a bulldog taking a shit. And bulldogs aren't cute either, but it's cool, it's rugged, it's different, it's unapologetically badass, it's just like the Cybertruck. To be seeing the Cybertruck, it's like, wow, that thing is ugly, and that man is so brave and badass for driving it. Look at his confidence level. It's like wearing pink pants. It's like, whoa, hey, pink pants, huh? How big is your penis exactly? Dude is following his dreams. Don't feel bad for him. He's literally following his dreams. All the other CEOs around have drawn pieces of shit on paper, and they're just like, no one must see this. Elon Musk said, you know what? Build this shit, because I know people are going to buy it. I have millions of mouth-breathing ass people, and they're going to buy this thing. And guess what? That's what's going to happen, because all these knuckleheads that are posting a screenshot, again, saying, thank you for your reservation, right? The reservations are, are, are funny because it's like a badge of honor. You are only cool if you have reserved a Cybertruck, okay? You're an outcast if you did not. I was shamed the other day, me, Uncle Rich, for not reserving one. And if you look on YouTube, all your favorite YouTubers are mentioning the Cybertruck. I want to get the Cybertruck. Here's why I want the Cybertruck. So now eventually, you're going to be bullied if you don't have a Cybertruck or don't want one. But I'm holding strong, okay? The truck is still two to three years out, and by then, there very well could be some decent 
competitors on the horizon. Right now, there's only the Rivian and the Balling Jur, whatever you call it, which is low-key ugly, and the Cybertruck. And I feel that in two to three years, there'll be other competitors on the horizon. The electric F-150 may be out. It might just be a disguised Rivian. And it's going to be interesting, too, because more auto manufacturers are seeing how popular this truck is. People are already making renderings of the Cybertruck with modifications. It's already lifted. It has bigger wheels. It has bigger flares. It's already it has custom trailers, roof racks, so mud flaps. It's already stanced out with wide ass flares and a wing. People are already making concepts of this thing, and it's going to be crazy. There's like four modified Rivian concepts on the internet, and people are just like, hey, this is a nice truck. I think I'll leave it alone, thanks. <laughs> the Rivian is not getting anywhere near the press the Cybertruck is, all right? The truck market is the biggest market in the United States, all right? And the more people talk about this truck, the more BMW talks shit about this truck, about it not being bulletproof. That's just more people talking about this truck the more hype being generated. So it won't, doesn't matter what it looks like. It's functional, and it's a discussion piece at this point. It's a topic of discussion. And again, I have a Humvee, and it's not great looking, but it's brutal, and it looks like nothing else out there. And that's what I think of the Cybertruck. I think it's going to do well. I didn't reserve one because I'm very lazy. I need 100 bucks. I need you to buy my damn merch, okay? That's the last point I want to make in this video. Just buy the merch. It makes a great gift for you and your loved ones. The holiday season is upon us. It's in the bar below the video. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out our Patreon, and I will see you all soon.